everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today is my 36th birthday. And I could think of no better way to celebrate my birthday than to celebrate it with you guys. So I've been really blessed to have a bit of a growth spurt here on YouTube lately. And so to my new subscribers, welcome. And to my tried and true subscribers, thank you for sticking with me all this time. I wanted to share with you some get to know me type things. It's been a while since I've done a video like this and I thought it'd be helpful to the new and the old to kind of get to know me better. And I'd love to get to know you guys better too. So leave me a comment with some something about your yourself and I'd love to meet it and get to know you guys and hopefully we can just have a great time hanging out in the comments too. So with that, let me share with you guys 36 things about myself on my 36th birthday. So the first thing is, yes, I am 36. I always get funny comments about how old I am. I think because I have a really round face and I don't wear a lot of makeup that people just assume that I'm younger than I am. And I think it's funny and I'm not offended at all. So the next thing is about my faith. I've actually been getting some questions about this lately, which again, I'm not offended or worried about it at all. I'm happy to answer it. I am a Christian. I believe in the Bible and the gospel. I hope that that is helpful to you guys to know. So the next thing about me is I was born and raised in the town that I live in now. And I thought I would never move back here. I swore I never would. And it's funny because here I am. <laughs> it's actually a really great place to raise a family and I see why people do move back. For us, it was for a job and I live where I grew up. So the next thing is my hobbies. I love doing YouTube, which you guys all know. I also love to thrift and decorate, which if you watch my channel, you know as well. But some of the hobbies you might not know about is I love reading, love a good book. I also really enjoy playing the piano and singing, and I'll talk more about playing the piano in a later one, but um, I really enjoy crafting. That's like one of my like decompress type things to do when I'm really stressed. I just love crafting. It just calms me down, so those are my hobbies. Next thing about me that some of you may not know is I was an elementary school teacher for a few years. I taught fifth grade, I taught kindergarten. Then in recent years, I was a music teacher for elementary at my kids' school. So I do love music. As I mentioned, I was a music teacher and I've really been working on in the past, I don't know, probably a year and a half, rebuilding my piano skills. And my hands are just not as strong as they used to be. I wish that I had kept up on it. Fun tidbit, uh, when I was in college, my husband and I were actually married before our senior year in college. And so that senior year, we were trying to make ends meet. We were both student teaching and I worked part-time at Target. So the next thing is that I have shared in a few videos that I'm prone to headaches. And so I've switched out a lot of chemical scents and chemical things in my house because that can trigger headaches for me. But I have something called TMJ syndrome where like my muscles and my jaw are not working properly and sometimes they clench down really, really hard and it causes a lot of pain. It's not great for your teeth and things like that. But if you've ever wondered why I'm like this sometimes, it's because I'm filming with a headache. So the next thing is I have been married for 14 years. We're going on year 15. My husband and I actually met in college. He was my next door neighbor. So this is the next tidbit. He and I were like a typical Hallmark movie. And this is what just makes me laugh because we met and we actually didn't really like each other very well at first. We didn't get along and then we became friends and then we fell in love and then we got married. Just typical Hallmark timeline that's us <laughs> i had a really froofy wedding dress but it was like super tight here and just poofed out like it was so like not practical and that's not really who i am these days and so anyway it's just really uh fun to look back on who i was as a bride it's it's kind of different than it is now that's the point you know of, of letting years go on and learning and changing and all that. So next thing about me is I love theme parks. I know that they can be kind of pricey, which is why I don't go very often, but um, I just love a good theme and I love the way they decorate and create sort of an atmosphere. I even love all the corny shows and the food and my most favorite trips we've taken have been to go to a theme park. So number 13, and you guys might find this interesting, is that I am not a technically gifted person at all. Like learning how to operate my camera when I bought it, learning how to just get footage from whatever, you know, recording device I had onto the computer. I spent so many hours trying to do this one video I remember in the early days and just crying and crying and figure out what I was doing wrong. And anyway, my husband is more technical. He's kind of a nerd and has really, he was instrumental in starting this for me because 
I was too nervous about the technical part of it, but I've learned a lot. I've grown a lot. 14 is kind of a quirk about me is I'm not an outdoorsy person in the sense that I don't really like camping. I'm kind of squeamish about bugs and critters and things, but I love being outside. So I have this weird like balance thing between loving sunshine and fresh air and also just not really liking being dirty or you know, all those kinds of things. So kind of going along with that, I would really love to garden. I think gardens are gorgeous. Every year I say, this is the year I'm going to plant flowers, we're gonna have herbs, we're gonna grow vegetables. And there have been some feeble attempts that have produced some of that, but nothing, nothing like I'd like it to be. So I'm saying it again this year, this is the year I'm gonna, <laughs> 2020 is gonna be the year where I actually have a good garden. So we'll see if it actually happens. This is a cute story about me from when I was little that I think you guys will appreciate. So for my sixth birthday, my grandma had wrapped my box for my gift, really cute in this Victorian, very frilly, lacy, flowery, uh, printed wrapping paper. And she wrapped it so the box came apart perfectly. You know, she wrapped the lid and the bottom. And so I just loved it and I thought the box was so beautiful and I called it my pretty box. And I would go around and find things that were pretty and I'd put them in the box and just random things, stickers or ponies and little Barbie shoes, things like that would end up in my pretty box. And I remember opening it up and just sorting through and looking at all my pretty box things. <laughs> I love Jane Austen and I'm sure that doesn't surprise you because I've shared about how my daughter Molly loves Jane Austen and we have a shared love for Jane Austen. I think my favorite story is Sense and Sensibility and I say I think because there are a couple Jane Austen books that I haven't read yet and I hope to remedy that within the next year. I also love old movies and I enjoy the sort of thriller kind of old movies like Alfred Hitchcock's one of my favorite directors. I really love To Catch a Thief, Rear Window, uh, North by Northwest, um, basically anything with Cary Grant. <laughs> but I also really love musicals. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers is a standout for me. Brigadoon. I also love Sound of Music. And uh, there's just, there's honestly, there's too many to list, but I love old movies. And if I get a chance to be at home by myself to choose what, you know, movie I'm going to watch, it'll probably be either an old movie or what I'm gonna talk about next. I have uh, an Apple TV, we don't have cable or anything. So I got the one of the Hallmark apps, just $6 a month. And you can watch a lot of their TV series and some of their Christmas stuff. And they don't put all their brand new stuff on the app, but I I don't care. As <laughs> I just, if it's older, I still enjoy watching it. So number 20 is I have a mild allergy to walnuts. Nothing like my boys' allergies, like where they have to have an EpiPen. I don't have to have an EpiPen. Number 21, I love chocolates. And the sad part is that chocolate is a trigger for the jaw thing that I talked about but oftentimes I do it anyway, or like little bits of it won't, won't be a problem. So this is kind of funny. As much as I love a clutter-free home now, I used to be one who kept everything and was super sentimental. I would have boxes and boxes, super organized, but just lots of things that I kept. Next thing about me, some of you who are new to my channel might not know that I homeschooled my daughter Molly from kindergarten to about second grade. Now we go to a Christian school. My husband's the principal there. So when he got that job, we transitioned to all going to that school. So number 24, as much as I love teaching, I also really love learning. I love studying different topics. My favorite things to study are theology, history, uh, music, like I love biographical music, like studying about um, the composers and their lives and and what caused them to write a certain song or a certain symphony, like the story behind them. I love that kind of thing. I do love a good mystery. And it's funny because this is a little bit embarrassing. I, when I was pregnant with Clive, I started watching Murder, She Wrote because it was on Amazon Prime. Then I got kind of hooked on it because it is so quaint and there is something so almost comforting about um, Angela Lansbury's character. So it's actually become like one of the shows that I really enjoy. So kind of embarrassing to admit, but it is it is true. So next thing about me is I am not much of a cook, but I think what it boils down to is I'm just really not that patient in the kitchen. I get really distracted. Like if I have to wait for something to be at a certain temperature or a certain like boil for a certain amount of time or something like that, I start doing something else and then I forget. So the next thing, which won't surprise you guys, is I've been 
told most of my life that my voice has an effect on people, like a calming effect. And I remember as early as like third grade reading to my teacher, you know, in reading groups and she would get sleepy. <laughs> And she told me, like, your voice makes me sleepy. So number 29, you guys know I love yard sales. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I love to go yard selling and share with you what I found. But I didn't really get into yard sales until I became a mom. And we were on a really tight budget. It was more of a survival thing at first. And then I got hooked. And I was yard selling to sell on eBay. And I was yard selling, you know, to decorate. And, and now, you know, I share my hauls with you guys. So I actually started my channel to show you guys uh, my finds. Like that was what motivated me to finally start my channel was just really wanting to talk about my yard sale finds and to connect with other people who really like like vintage things and you know showing money saving things and how to decorate with things from yard sales I just I really globbed on to that uh, niche in, in YouTube and wanted to be a part of it because I just love yard sales so anyway that was what propelled me into where I am now so I would love to go overseas and see Scotland Ireland. I'd love to see St. Andrews. I'd love to tour Oxford. I'd love to see C.S. Lewis's house. Also our heritage, my husband and I, um, is very much Irish and Scottish and I'd love to, you know, go discover where our people are from and whatnot. So that is a big dream of mine. Another fun historical tidbit about me is that I used to sing in a couple different jazz groups. I was really into vocal jazz. I have a real breathy tone, just even talking, I have a breathy voice, but I think that that plays well into jazz. So really enjoyed that and I did that into my 20s. So another college related tidbit is that I was an RA or CA, depending on what college you went to, where you were in charge of the floor of your your dorm. Another Rachel quirk is I've always kind of been a bit of a collector, even though I don't necessarily like a ton of stuff now. I still collect milk glass and vintage Christmas ornaments and books and whatnot. But when I was younger, when I was a kid, I collected pigs. So I had like pig figurines, stuffed pigs, pig blankets, pig slippers, pig boxers, pig pajamas, you name it, I had it. And it was like over 200. I think I got close to 300 different pig items. Last but not least is number 36. And that is that I love the holidays. I love Christmas. I love celebrating with friends and family. I love all of the hustle and bustle, but I also just love the calm of sitting by the Christmas tree and wrapping gifts and the smells and just everything. I love the holidays. So I have a lot of holiday themed content right now. And that's why, because I love it and I just love talking about it. I love sharing with you some of my ideas and um, I hope to share with you guys even, even more in the coming weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about me. It's kind of weird to sit here and talk about myself that long, but I hope it was fun for you guys. Again, let me know in the comments something about you. I'd love to get to know you guys better as well. And I hope you'll subscribe if you're new here. I am collaborating with my friend Robin Johnson this week as well as DIY Mommy. So I have a lot of stuff coming your way and I hope you'll subscribe and not miss a thing. So take care everyone and I will be back with more soon. Bye.